I will show a scenario where I need to create a new printer and replace an old one. I renamed the old printer to make this example very clear. To create a new printer, I just need to set a name, the default printing service configuration, and the printer ID within the printing service network, which I can easily copy from the client. After I save the record, the page informs me about two things. The printer is not enabled in the configuration, and the printer is not available for my current user and role. I will immediately enable the printer in the general configuration. If I want to test the printer, I need to make it available for myself. To do this, I will add the administrator role in the permissions tab. Now I can run a test and see if the printer is reachable from NetSuite. The print job is created and being processed. And here is our test print rendered on the virtual printer I just added in NetSuite. Since the printer can be in any location, it's possible to give any user the possibility to print a test page. Now let's see how to finalize the replacement of the old printer. Looking in the reference by subtab, I see the list of the print configuration records that point to this printer. Opening them, I can easily edit and replace the old printer with the new printer. I can repeat this operation until the reference by list from the old printer is completely empty.